Who's ready to cringe? Anyone cringing tonight? No. Hi everybody. <laughs> so don't look at the camera. <laughs> don't Jim Halpert this shit. <laughs> You're not on the office. We don't look at the camera here. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> no one can help you now. It's too late. Yeah, Julia's here too, that. but she's in the bathroom. Nathan's not here though. Mm -mm. So don't expect to see Nathan. Don't expect to hear Nathan. Yeah, we told him that we were doing cringe tober, and he stormed out. He stormed out and slammed the door, and he said, "I'm not cringe. I'm not." Yeah, I think he was crying a little. He was crying, and there was like snot running down his face. I gotta be real; it was the real cringe part of the day. It was the most cringe thing I've ever seen. Because then he tripped on the way out. <laughs> Yeah, Are it was really about funny. What Nathan did? Yeah, yeah, when he stormed out when earlier. Nathan left and he stormed out because we said we were going to do cringe. Yeah. 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 And he kept insisting that he wasn't cringe, but he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was More really than any of us. Yeah. And he said he was not going to ever come back. Typical Nathan. Typical. He says that every time, though. Yeah. Every Pretty time he typical. leaves, he says, I'm never going to come back. Yeah. And you know what? He always comes back. Nathan so. says hi. Oh, shit. What the hell? Was he on Carolyn's stream? Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We, our lie has been caught. Why? We've been caught in the lie. Nathan, why? No, Nathan, we were doing a lie. Nathan, no. No, no, the other part is that Carolyn was also here in trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. wait. The lie is actually true again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we can tell. Okay, they both tripped. It was really Nathan weird. They both, both tripped. And they were both crying yeah. and had snot coming down their face. Yeah. Yeah. And we're saying, we're not cringe. We're not cringe. Yeah, they were saying it in unison. Yeah. Yeah. And they both tried to leave, but the door wasn't wide enough. And so they got stuck. <laughs> yeah, it was side really by side funny. In the door. <laughs> they kept shuffling around like yeah. that would actually help. And they were kicking their little feet. Yeah. It was so cringe. They like jumped as they were leaving through. So they were actually suspended in the door frame. Yeah. It was so, cartoonish. <laughs> someone sent us like a super chat or whatever it's called on Twitch. Thanks. Thank you for that. Thank you wow. for the super chat. And also I've seen a bunch of people subscribing. Thank you subscribers. We appreciate your support. Yeah. 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 Oh, also we really appreciate it because we officially are partner plus now. Yeah. On Twitch. So we get 70% wow. of the sub split. Yeah. As opposed to the 50% we used to get. So that's a that's a little that's a little extra quiche right there. So when you sub, we were getting an extra 20% of that quiche. And you know how we feel about quiche. We love quiche. Yum yum. Quiche. We spend it all on quiche. It's all we eat. <laughs> yeah, my, my fridge is full of quiche. Full of quiche. Uh, anyway, today what are we doing? we're doing it's it's the it's oh. the Tober month. Let me get a random. Let me get the roller. It's that's... the Tober month, and that means there's lots of Tobers yeah, to engage with. Cringe. What's a cringe gift? Are you setting? I think Julia's doing the um, getting a random number generator. Oh, yeah. But also, I guess you do need to tweet. Oh, I do need to tweet. And you need to tweet something cringe. Okay. Um, um, we're at level nine hype train. I don't oh even know it could God. go that high. Yeah. If it got to level 10, I don't know what I would do. You might have to, like, <laughs> eat a one of those cushions <laughs> i'd probably have to eat one of those cushions <laughs> yeah, if it got yeah. to level. thankfully it's never going to get to level 10. yeah thankfully that's not going to happen so i don't have to worry about it <laughs> i mean it's it's 13 percent away from yeah level but 10, that's like a lot but we're not going to get there because everyone who's subscribed has already done so yeah there's nothing left there's to nothing accomplished left, so we by might doing be, it okay well We'll never get to level 11. Yeah, if we get to level 11, you level might have 11, to eat one of those cushions. I would eat one of those cushions. Yeah. Thankfully, this is just level 10. Yeah, which so, you can't get any higher. You can't get any higher, so I think I'm safe from that. Yeah. Because it could never possibly go that high. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, but it's not going to go that but it's high. Not, it's at 50% yeah. there, but it's not going to go that 50 high. 50% is a lot. 
It won't go higher than this. Yeah. I don't think because there's just not enough money in the world. Frankly. Yeah, there's not enough people to do that. Yeah, there's not enough people to. It maybe it's seventy. Per, actually, it's at sixty nine percent now, which is pretty nice. But it won't. <laughs> Was it 98%, but someone's <laughs> got to get it the other 2%. Yeah, yeah, 2% is a lot. And I don't know. Oh, oh well. Shit. Oh, no. Okay. Um, well, oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, well, give me a cushion. Yeah, what kind of utensils do you want? Um, chopsticks, Okay. please. I'll get the chopsticks. Give me some chopsticks okay. and a cushion. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Where are you going? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. And I'll get to work. Yeah. On it. Oh, I need the number roller now. Unless we get to level 12, in which case I don't need to eat the cushion anymore. What? If we hit level 12, then I I don't need to eat the cushion. I'm safe from eating the cushion. Who would you rather eat? Yuma or Yuya? Oh, we hit level 12. Oh, dang. Oh, the oh. back. Jeez. Damn, that's so unfortunate. That's it's really almost, unfortunate. I almost <laughs> had to eat the cushion, but... Thankfully, I'm safe now, thanks to all of your generosity. Yeah. Yeah, you're so nice. <laughs> Some people are saying, stop the count. <laughs> well, that's good. I wouldn't anyway. want you to eat my cushions anyway. Yeah, That would have been I pretty would've. cringe. Yeah. If you had to eat my cushions, which one would you eat? Which one's the one in the front? Yuma. Yuma. That's a, that's a keyboard? It's not a cushion. You, you, my cushion. You eat you, ma? You, ma, you, ma, my cushion. I'm not your cushion. <laughs> you, my cushion. Um, cringe tober. We're cringe fee today. I've got the cringe tober document here, the official document. I'm fucking cringe fee every day. I'm going to make it big so everyone can see it real quick. It looks like we're crediting Sleep Ran for the first cringe tober, but this template was made by Austin Martinez. I cry ink. They cry ink. So, you know, go go find them if you got a problem. Don't come to me. I didn't make this. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is Julia's gonna roll us up some three numbers from it, and we're gonna combine the three, and then we're gonna draw characters combining all three of the things. And I assume we'll probably be able to do that a couple times, and that's probably it. That's probably it. <laughs> what? That's what we're doing. Yeah, you expect something else? You want me to do you more? Read, you read the title. Jacob. Yeah. Your first one? 28. 28 is alt fashion. Okay. Ooh. Okay, alt fashion. I'm going to make a layer that I can mark them with. Alt fashion. Okay. Nine. Number nine is crossover ship slash rare pair Ooh. okay, okay. 29 29 hot villain bonus points if woman Ooh. okay so i need i need a crossover ship mm -hmm. with alt fashion and a hot woman villain because i do want the bonus points yeah that's important in this point based game all right when i think about hot woman villain the first thing i think of is who's that woman from um powerpuff girls who's sedusa. like sedusa. sedusa yeah so yeah. sedusa is definitely one of them mm -hmm. and then the crossover ship uh sedusa uh, it's um the, the bear the in the big blue house. Oh, crossover ship. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's not, not what a crossover ship, ship is. That's although right, I like right. okay. I like what you what you're putting down. You're thinking of Mrs. Bellum. Yes. Yeah. But I'm thinking of the bear in the big blue house. Okay. I like that. <laughs> in alt fashion. In alt fashion. Ex Sedusa. <laughs> that's what i'm thinking of <laughs> everyone in chat is saying shigo and you said no nah. no not she in the big blue house. she go more like you go yeah i'm like, here for suggesting she go i'm thinking about the bear in the big blue house <laughs> aren't we all um let's see sedusa powerpuff girls mm -hmm. yes she's kind of already in alt fashion sort of 
Sedusa, yeah. Yeah. But what about Bear in the Big Blue House? Well, I gotta work on a pose first. Yeah. Let me like let me find like a good pose. Google good pose. <laughs> like a like a couple's pose. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these, looking at jacob's phone these are some couples if you want like a spicy pose i can get one of my pose books oh mm. pose books we do have access to those since we're you know in, in, in my apartment actually do i want it to be spicy or do i want it to be like romantic chat what do you say when you think of sedusa and the bear in the big blue house do you think spicy or Everyone is saying spicy. All right, give me a book. Give me a book right now. We're going, going. we're going all out on this one. We're doing it for real. Mm -hmm. Part of cringe tober is you have to take it completely seriously. Yeah, that's part of the cringe. Big blue bear house is pure. No, that Not the, today. the show ended. He's changed. Mm hmm. He's looking to get his now. I hear so much rifling going on. <laughs> okay. We have 12 love position drawings for boys love comics. Oh, God. There's some I see on the back of that book I can't use for Ten sure. <laughs> kiss position drawings for boys love comics, too. And 12 submissive poses for boys love comics. Okay, the third one had some really suggestive poses on the back, so let's not do. Yeah, that one's way too much. <laughs> really? <laughs> that one's got, that's got like foot stuff like the right most. there on the front page. Yeah, that's why I bought it. Yeah, give me a a, a more chaste one. A kiss or love? Love. <laughs> I want love. Karina said, "My nastiest books, please." <laughs> You said spicy. It's true. Okay. Oh, we got another, uh, another like super chat or whatever it's called. <laughs> this angle, can I show this? Is this showable? This I mean, nothing's showing. Me they show every angle. They're very thorough. I got to show you this angle. I'd love to see someone try and draw an image at this angle. <laughs> Why would you use that when you want to show them kissing, but their taint is like the focus? How'd you even get down there? You're a POV, you're a worm. You gotta be a bug. <laughs> also, I think all these books have one joke pose at the very end. That, that, this is a Heimlich maneuver pose. <laughs> no, it's, it's a love No, they're pose. loving each other. They love each other. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta find the right one. Okay, this one's pretty good. The head in the lap pose. Yeah. All right, I think we might have something here. Yeah. Can I be annoying and see if this one has a joke pose at the end? Oh, there it is. Oh, the back breaker. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have to show this too now. From bridal carry to backbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of the pose. Okay. So it's easier to. I wanna look through this book. <laughs> you do have free reign to just look through my books at any moment. They just. I was looking through your fashion one earlier. Yeah. It's a good book. It's a great book. Okay. I use it for all my all my look Thank inspo. You. It's a look book. Do you mind putting it back to the canvas? Please. Oh yeah. Beep, beep. I wanna see Sedusa and Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> You're gonna see it. I'm working on it, okay? Wait, where is Nathan? So funny story. <laughs> We called him cringe and he peed his pants and cried and stormed out of the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Carolyn too. Yeah, Carolyn was also there. It was like so embarrassing for both of them. It was really not a good look. Yeah, but... Okay, Sedusa's got like a big head like that. 
<laughs> okay, then the arm is, is down. It's cradling the head of the bear in the big blue house who's going to have like a big like, you know, bear head probably if I had yeah, to guess. a bed. <laughs> Something like this. Uh, then we got the legs coming around. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever draw from reference? It's like no. so easy. I just have these books for my own amusement. <laughs> it's like so easy compared to drawing other ways. Yeah. And then this leg's gonna come around. These ones aren't this. photo reference, but I do like them because they give so such <laughs> thorough angles. <laughs> Yeah, I they're, like they're that set they give up you, well enough that I'm like, okay, yeah. They give you the cardinal directions. Yeah, in case you need to know <laughs> which one was facing east, <laughs> which one was facing the sun rising. <laughs> okay, then. I do like the submissive poses book. That one I've used the most, and it's really good. It has good poses. This is the Heimlich. No, it's a love pose. Oh, okay. It's a love Heimlich. It's a love Heimlich. When you're all choked up. Nice. <laughs> and your love needs <laughs> your love needs to help you. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be the sexiest image of the bear in the big blue house you've seen today. <laughs> I already like this a lot. It's cute. <laughs> Does Bear in the Big Blue House have toes? <laughs> I don't know, you should Google it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look at him. I haven't looked at him in a long time. I, I'm pulling him up. Bear. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's like one arm goes up this way. You know, the head. only thing I've seen from the from Bear in the Big Blue House is the blooper where he slowly turns the camera, and it's very funny. <laughs> um, Bear in the Big Blue House. He's got like toe beans. He's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredibly good. Do you want like an actual okay. picture of the bear? No, I is. want that picture. I'm pulling him up for myself. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with the squash. <laughs> it's from the Disney Junior Wiki too. Oh my god. So he's officially just squart. <laughs> Why is he so compact? <laughs> bear in the pig blue house getting sturdy. <laughs> I need to see what he looks like in profile. Oh, here he is. Looking at the moon, of course. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at the moon right now. <laughs> Okay, Bear in the Big Blue House's proportions are insane. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. Oh my god, look at him crouching. It's really cute. It's really cute. The moon okay, kind of like freaks me out, man. Let's do this. I'm gonna rotate. Rotate. No, just just make it just make it big. I just need to see him. Just show show him to me. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's got kind of, okay, his nose, his snout goes more like this. We're essentially doing the Cursed Ships episode again. We should do that again. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, that was a fun one. I had to draw Wallace. <laughs> oh, Karina, on Secret Sleepover Society, uh -huh. which is the stream that Jacob and I do, if you don't know, um, it... We've been playing House of Ashes, which is like by the Until Dawn people, mm. and Ashley Tisdale is in it. Oh, fuck yeah! But they really fucked up her face. Oh no! So she, she looks like a so Wallace funny. character, and she always has a thousand yard stare. I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah, can you find like a good, yeah, like picture of that? Yeah, let me. <laughs> Bear in the Big Blue House is kind of like jacked up looking you ever really look at the bear in the big blue house oh poor ashley tisdale <laughs> they really just like she's kind of making like a duck mouth and like she's always <laughs> has like a kind of distant stare <laughs> it's pretty good what were you saying that he's jacked he's jacked up oh, looking then i don't care <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can't, 
I can't depict him. Yes, you can. His is cause his okay, I need to make his head smaller. This is gonna be one of those streams where we get really into the drawings. Yeah. It Jacob said earlier that we have to be sincere about it. Yeah. Also, it's not fully cringe. Look, every day I wanna look at your other book. Every day I'm cringe. And today it's just like celebrated. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sometimes I truly feel like just saying here we go is going to make me... <laughs> It's going to make the difference. And do you remember he's wearing old fashioned? Oh my god. He's I not forgot naked. About that. <laughs> I forgot about that. He would never be naked. No. Yeah, never nude. Never nude. He's a never nude. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with Kiss. With Kiss. I got to put him in like a like a tight t-shirt. What is happening in this one? He's going to be wearing the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge shirt. <laughs> it's an old fashioned, you're like, like MCR shirt. <laughs> I mean, in my time, that's what it meant. Fair enough. Back in my era. Yeah, but it's cropped. It's a cropped top. Yeah, it's top. cropped. A cropped top. A cropped topped. But it's like cut. He's like, cut. <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> Someone get the spray bottle. Someone get Karina potato. <laughs> Where's my raw potato? I'm starting to get the vapors. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's like a Celtic knot of boys. <laughs> Don't say it like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> men, men. Yeah, don't talk about men's knots. <laughs> ah. He looks like a dog is the problem. Someone just came in and said, hey, y'all, first time watcher of stream, watch most, if not all of your videos, love your work, as we were like saying just the worst thing. <laughs> Thanks you're, for you're being here. Gonna. By the time we're done, you're not gonna. Okay, then I want bigger belly. He's really like squeezed into this yeah. shirt. Because that was like, again, in my era, you wore shirts that were like three sizes too small. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then he's also going to be squeezed into some jeans. <laughs> With the studded belt. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, it's just, just the fact really that good. it's bear in the big blue <laughs> wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta work on the face. I'm gonna come back to it. Yeah, just we'll get back to that. Yeah. Good lord! <laughs> Honestly, slay. The first pose I saw in this book is some guy jumping over someone else's head. Yeah. <laughs> the most submissive of poses. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You need anything? My zoom button has stopped working. Oh. It doesn't appreciate what you've been doing. Is it not Z? No, it's the backslash. Have I never zoomed on this computer? No. See? Remember, we had a whole discussion about this when we when we drove home the other day. <laughs> <laughs> about what? <laughs> well, because I was saying that Clip Studio is still kind of hard for me to draw yeah. in, and it takes me a long time because the keyboard shortcuts are so different. And Jacob said, no, they're not. They're exactly the same. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, zoom is like backslash, and it wasn't on Photoshop. And Jacob was like, no, it's Z. Well, then I, like, I had remembered that yeah. I had just changed mine. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, right. I changed all my shortcuts to be exactly Photoshop. And I said that I haven't done that so that I know how to use Karina's computer effectively when we record. Also, if, if you ever want to just, like, zoom in or out on the uh, macro keyboard, it's 8 and 9. Okay. Yeah. Helpful. Yeah. Helpful info. 
the cat paw? The cat paw is undo. Oh. It's... Oh, 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 oh. I was reading it wrong. I was reading it like a telephone. Yeah, it's the leaves. It's the okay, leaves. gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> reading it like a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> this, this image is causing Jacob harm. I'm like getting sick. <laughs> no. As I draw it. Oh. This pose is this man licking a knee. Oh, no. This, never mind. That's just from that angle. Uh... Okay, this is this is coming along now. Rotate it back. This it's is looking, really cute. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. It's really cute. No problems here. This hand is is too big compared to the other hand. Let's fix that. <laughs> we want to get this right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It is. It is the true. Um, suffering of you know being the only person who cares about a pairing <laughs> yeah so you're like i have to get it right so i'm the only one who's doing it yeah it's very important hey is there a fan picture of these two already no absolutely not there's no way <laughs> unless someone's written it right now if you look these two characters up on ao3 if you're lucky you'll find one of those fix that's just like some sort of hyper crossover mm-hmm and it's not going like to be shipping million. them. Yeah. yeah. Bear in the big, big blue, blue house. house. Okay. Now we're we're moving. Bear <laughs> looking down lovingly. Okay. At bear. bear. Chat, do you want to hear my like rare pair story? Every every thing I do is cringe. So like this is just another day to me. Um, so I don't even consider this a rare pair. It's just <laughs> anything. Well, Rayman is here doing like as yeah, a third. In what way? <laughs> well, when I just like broke down, like include these characters in the Bear in the Big Blue House fandom, Rayman showed up. Yeah. And a lot of the Muppets. Anyway, sorry, continue. So there's this character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 named Shinji Weber, who is... Um, I guess my side hoe in the Yu-Gi-Oh! like <laughs> universe. I'm obsessed with him and everyone hates him. Um, but I just think he's really funny. Rip Shinji. He didn't die, but he's not real and he would have loved Reddit. Anyway, one day on um I was just like perusing eBay as I do, and I found a fan book. Of uh, him and Crow Hogan, uh, also Yu Gi Oh! Arc 5 verse. And I was just like shocked because, like, no one likes Shinji Weber. And I'm just shocked that there's any fan book material of him, let alone one of like the pairing I actually like him in. And I was like so excited. And um, also, it was really, really cheap for a doujinshi. And it was from a US based seller. And I was like so excited. And I like bought it instantly. And it's like a really good fan book. It's also like 200 pages. It was the holy grail of like Shinji Weber content for me. And I got the book. And, you know, when you pack, when you mail a book, they send it, you know, with like a little cardboard backing to make sure it doesn't get bent and shit. Well, I take the book out and on the cardboard backing, there was a little sticky note that said, thank you for your purchase. I loved your Yu-Gi-Oh comics back in the day. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> I was like, damn, I wonder when they saw who ordered this goddamn book <laughs> of this hated character. <laughs> they were just like, of course, of course it's legal name the one bitch who likes Shinji Weber in this year of our Lord, <laughs> 2023. Who it else was, could it be? <laughs> it was uh, mortifying, but also like it really like made my day. So I sent them a message 
Uh, I sent the seller a message just being like, I'm so fucking embarrassed, but also I really appreciate that. <laughs> and they were super nice about it. But and so I kept the note. It's in the book. <laughs> but it was just really cracking me up that like, yeah, of course, the only person who's out here defending Shinji Weber is the one who ended up buying this book. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, but I mean, I, you you know they had to have known who you were, like immediately. This is not a big circle of people. Yeah, it's an it's it's less a circle and more of just like a dot with maybe <laughs> another dot nearby. So like, yeah, it was just like I'm just like wow, the circle is absolutely tiny. <laughs> so true, but it was like really cracking me up. <laughs> Someone just tweeted us saying that they went down a bear in the big blue house wiki hole yesterday and they never expected it to turn out like this. It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. There's some really upsetting things on AO3, man. Yeah. This, this... The Shinji fandom is two people, Karina and the OG seller. <laughs> No, it's it not even the seller. It's the person who made that fucking fan book. <laughs> Whoever they are. The only smaller fandom is Sedusa X the Bear in the Big Blue House. Well, I'd argue this probably is gonna end up with a big fandom because this is fire, Jacob. Do you think yeah. this is awakening some people right now? Yes. yes. I'm honored. This is like gonna be someone's furry awakening. I'm doing the Lord's work out here. Someone said, can someone remember what the third prompt was? It's um, villain. Yeah. Yeah, right? she's the villain. The she's hot, hot villain. villain. Bonus points for uh, being a lady. Mm-hmm. Of course, she's wearing dark, very dark eyeliner. Mascara. <laughs> This is not spicy, Jacob. Yeah, it's because he didn't use my submissive poses book. Well, it's spicy because they just got done having like wild sex. <laughs> yeah, with with the clothes stayed on. Yeah, the clothes stayed on. Because <laughs> they, they were on too tight. <laughs> they couldn't get it <laughs> It was too much work. <laughs> so they found a way. Yeah, love finds a way. Um. Okay. She's going to have on like some shorts and the high socks, the striped high socks. Oh my God. Alt fashion. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Big boot. Uh huh. <laughs> Big boot house. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> they found love in the big blue house. <laughs> Why is the bear kind of? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, you tell me. What's the bear making you feel like, huh? Anything the bear makes you feel is natural. Yeah. And you don't need to be ashamed. Is it his, his muzzle? His non-threatening ma is it his soft belly is it his tight jeans yeah is it the soft belly contrasting with the tight jeans how does it make you feel that bear in the big blue house is wearing shoes <laughs> <laughs> wearing shoes in the house is it his big hands <laughs> all right i think i'm done yeah perfect. hands the size of your head how does it make you feel chat Tell me about it. Jacob, Back. this is really cute. Backslash. Yeah. Back <laughs> oh, let's just do this. This makes more sense to do. Huh? I love that Karina set up a button specifically for this. And Jacob refuses and I won't click it. to use it. I'm, I've done my part here. <laughs> Karina or Julia, who wants to go next? I'll go. Okay. Karina will go. I have yeah. the roller. Roll me up some cringe. Stop. All right, let's see. Let me know when you're ready. 
I, I'm ready. I just don't want to hide this. <laughs> we want it to stay forever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Your first number is 26. 26. All edge, no point. Nice. Okay. Your second number is 17. Fake anime screenshot. Oh, my God. Your next number is 18. Old art redraw. We can't do that. <laughs> we don't have old art to redraw. I mean, I, will I, re -roll. Always, I always have them, but that would take a lot of time. Yeah, your, let's re-roll. Your final number is 10. Persona. <laughs> okay. Edgy persona, fake anime screenshot. Who edgy should I persona? I almost said Shadow the Hedgehog, but he's already <laughs> <laughs> he's already a persona. <laughs> no, you've already done an animal not a me. Um, Edgeworth is fun. Is Edgeworth edgy though? I mean, it's in his name. Sans Undertale. God. Shadow Skin Sona. <laughs> That's a Gajinka, and I didn't roll that one. Yeah, Gajinka is on here. Yeah. The cast of Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Adam yeah. from Skate the Infinity. I was about to say, I've drawn his persona. No, that was goofy. I've drawn him as a... I, I've done his uh, Sonic Sona. Can I do that? Do it. Who's Sonic Sona? Adam. Adam Skate the Infinity? Yeah. Sonic Sona, edgy? Yeah, a Sonic Sona is just a persona, but... For Sonic. What are we looking at? Adam? Sonics are furries. Skate. They just are. Okay. No Google. I'm not signing in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sign in and give you my location to Google image search Adam Skate Funeral. <laughs> They just want to store that info for later in case they need it. I mean, <laughs> yes. Do I? Sorry, I'm just. I was gonna re. What is this fake anime screenshot? It's not a redraw. I can just. I can just make it up. <laughs> All edge, no point. All edge, no, no point. point. All edge, no point. Okay. Ah, How ah, do I draw ah, Sonic ah. characters? Whatever. We can do whatever we want. That's part of being cringe. Yeah. What part of I am cringe all the time? This isn't anything new or special for me. <laughs> do you not understand? Y'all got any good cringe stories from your high school experience oh shit i mean yeah probably all of my stories are cringe someone else do it i'm sure i had a ton i remember i was all because i was just way too self-conscious yeah me too but i remember i got my hair dyed Aww. in high school mm -hmm. and like i went to like this like like super like punk rock salon that I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, the lady that dyed my hair was like, this is like really cool right now, like this style of thing. Yeah. And to be fair, I do think it was cool now. Mm -hmm. And I did at the time too, but it was sort of like a chunky dye where like she would oh, yeah, like you chunk, did like, streaks, like a chunk. Right? Would, no, no, that was later. Oh, oh, oh. Like chunks of it would be blonde. Oh, like a okay. chunk up here, like a chunk over here, kind of right. like a weird asymmetrical. Oh my God. Yeah. Jonah! My mom used to straighten my hair at 7 a.m. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, your story? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I just thought it was really cool and I was really excited about it. And then I went to school and suffice it to say, nobody else thought it was cool <laughs> at all. Ooh. They were like, what the hell happened to your head? <laughs> are you okay? When are they going to dye the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, I was so deflated after thinking it was so cool. I have a lot of like, why did I say that thing? Because I would get like too excited and then say something 
that like i don't know i should have just like held back a little bit yeah you know? like a little bit of a filter mm. you get like a little too excited and then you say something and you're like i should have thought about that a little bit more i'm thinking specifically there was um the band that i was obsessed with in high school was called tsunami bomb mm -hmm. which my brother got me into them and they were a very fun band but they were also led by like a a very cool female singer and i was like that's who i want to be i want to be like agent m right mm -hmm. so is that what she was called agent m yeah i believe so if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, they played a show on Long Island and my brother brought me and I was like so excited to see them live. And at the end, the band was just like hanging out, but the singer like went back to go rest for a little bit before like coming back out and like talking to fans. But I just like walked up to one of the band members that didn't like have anyone talking to him and like no one had been talking to him. Uh -huh. And I like waved i waved at him and then I, I got his attention and he was like all really excited and then i went to go talk to him and i said when's agent m coming out <laughs> that was the only thing i said to that man <laughs> and then like a few Damn. weeks later they announced that they were gonna stop playing <laughs> you were disbanding. You know, <laughs> tore them apart. I was like, "Is this what <laughs> you? <laughs> you did it?" I was like, "I can't take this anymore." I did this. I like needed, you know, divorce parent therapy after that. Yeah, I broke up my parents. I get that. <laughs> you were the Angela Anaconda <laughs> of their Digimon movie. <laughs> Yeah, so I spent like years after that being like, Aww. being like, I like this is a lesson I have to take, which is that like that guy was probably really excited that a fan finally wanted to talk Aww. to him, and I like <laughs> fucking ruined it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like I should also be excited for him, which is true. Like I was excited to talk to him. <laughs> um. Anyway, so he uh. Like, so I just, like, I, I let that be a lesson. And then uh, recently they got back together and went on another tour. So it's fine. They, they're they over it now. <laughs> yeah. It took years for it's them okay. to recover. They got over what me specifically at, like, 15 or 16 said. <laughs> and got back together. I believe you broke up an entire band. Did you go up and apologize? No, I didn't. It was only until like the car ride home when my energy was like starting to come down from being like so excited to see my favorite band for the first time ever that I was like, oh, maybe that was bad. <laughs> I probably was like so excited to talk to a fan. Oh, no. Tsunami Bomb doesn't have Agent M anymore. Yeah, it's because <laughs> it's I because said they did that. Because I said I wanted to see her, and they were like, "You're ruining the band." Yeah, everyone only cares about you. Anyway, if Tsunami Bomb is watching. I apologize. <laughs> if it for makes what you my feel any better, year old self said, "I've I balanced you karmically." Okay. In college, we hadn't met yet. No. But I think I did this because I sensed that yeah. there was a karmic imbalance in the universe. It's yeah. out there. I saw uh, Childish Gambino in Athens. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, there was like a rooftop bar above the venue. Uh -huh. And like everybody was waiting for Donald Glover to come out, uh -huh. obviously. Yeah. But like the rest of the band was like all like right over here with like nobody acknowledging them at all. Uh -huh. And so I went up to them and I was like, super psyched because i genuinely was because they were really really good musicians mm -hmm. and i was like you guys were incredible and then you know i was very excited to see them and they were excited too so i think i balanced it out that That's rules nice. i i suffer a lot from secondhand cringe where like i will interpret something as cringe with no one else's input and be like this is cringe and i'm i feel bad there was um I went to a concert with my parents because it was at like a party one of my dad's coworkers was throwing and there was a very legendary band which I don't know the politics of saying the name of anymore 
uh, so I'm not gonna say it. Um, it's the <laughs> Kings. Mmm. So. The Leon Kings. The Leon yeah, Kings. the Leon Kings. <laughs> and um, they were there, and they were playing for like. I feel so. Me personally, I feel very weird going to see a live performance of like someone very legit and people are just like talking through it and that's all this concert was was this like legendary band with like a big long tenured history they're like super popular and um i was in this like tiny tiny bar venue Sorry, somebody <laughs> said they were the unalive kings <laughs> <laughs> no it starts with a I was about to say J G. It starts with a G. Yeah, pe people are getting it. They're getting yeah, it. Yeah, in the yeah. It's just a joke. But yeah, I went to go. Like. I went to go see them, and there's like all. It's like the whole crowd is like older, rich, white, pretty plastered people who are just talking and like not just talking, yeah, but like yeah. New York, Long Island talking, like loud talking. Yeah, yeah like. I was trying to listen to them because they're phenomenal and I'm just hearing like, oh my God, uh, why did she say that? And I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You have like a legendary band who's played for like these huge venues like right here. Yeah. And at the end of the concert, they were outside just like kind of melting into the sidewalk a little bit and like I felt weird about it. I'm sure like they were fine or else they wouldn't have taken that gig. But like I, I felt so cringe about it. Yeah, that I was like cringe. Like I, you're like like when you're in a school and you're in a class and the rest of the people in the class are doing something shitty and you feel yeah, like I have to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was outside and I just had like a really long conversation with the band and they also had like that's cool. They had amazing salsa dancers there. And she was phenomenal. And I was talking to like the band and i was talking to her and we had like a great conversation about like their music and and things like that and it was a really great time but i was just like the whole time they were performing i was like oh my god shut up yeah i, I get that listen. how am i supposed to make this a fake anime screenshot without taking the entire stream well it kind of looks like one already okay yeah I'll, like if you I'll just put like a, a cap a, a subtitle at the bottom it'll oh, yeah. be <laughs> one of my famous good subtitles yeah Te amo longa. You want me to, hold on do you want me to randomly roll you a sentence <laughs> that's to be something adam would say yeah oh, okay because this looks like the moment in the anime where he's revealing his like fucked up demon outfit <laughs> he's gone sicko mode yeah. what if i get an adam skate the infinity quote Bitches frozen on binary hose. Yeah. I mean, that's a classic one. Yeah. I uh, I googled this skate. Fun. This will be fun to draw. And I misspelled it. How do you misspell it? It's three letters. I wrote Scott eight. <laughs> Scott eight. <laughs> Sky eat the infinity. <laughs> hey, I'm Adam, and I'm going sicko mode. Okay. <laughs> Jonas said I called Noel Fielding Simon Pegg at an after party once. Oh and no! How did that make him feel? <laughs> <laughs> They're not even similar. <laughs> <laughs> They're just both British. I did tell Jonah. Um, over the weekend about my incredibly cringe time I met the uh, guy who voiced Pegasus Yu-Gi-Oh oh yeah I remember this yeah did I tell you like the the prequel I don't remember the specifics of the story so you'll have to tell it again okay so back in 2017 Lauren and I were doing anime Midwest out in like Rosemont and we didn't know that um, the Yu-Gi-Oh world championship qualifiers were literally upstairs from the con and for these qualifiers they always bring the voice act like some voice actors in to do like character duels and then like meet and greets and shit and it was also my birthday weekend actually <laughs> like the sunday of the con was my birthday so i was like oh my god for my birthday let's go like do one of these meet and greets fuck it and um so i like drew them stuff of their characters and um because it was like the guy who did bakura 
and the guy who did fucking um his english name uh aster phoenix from gx and also neospace and aqua dolphin and then uh darren dunstan who voiced pegasus and i had the the picture of grandpa <laughs> um <laughs> at my table and i was like it would be so funny hand him to me to to have um knock down your your delicate setup there's a tiger oh right top. i forgot about the tiger my bad but I was like, it would be so funny to get him to sign this. And I was like so nervous <laughs> that I like, you know, I'm holding the frame. This isn't the original frame. I like broke it in my hand and I just very like smoothly put it in my pocket <laughs> as I handed the actual frame part to him for him to sign. And he's like, oh, I don't voice this character because he didn't get the joke. And I was like, eh, yeah, but it's what I have that you can sign. <laughs> Flash forward to 2022 and I go over to Barrett's apartment to watch. He was like, yeah, me and a bunch of friends are watching uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And um, you should come. Uh, it was basically a cast party, and he didn't tell me that. And who should show up in his living room? Then the director of the show. <laughs> Darren Dunstan. <laughs> and I, um, first of all, I was immediately self-conscious because I hadn't washed my hair. And second of all, um, Barrett, like, got all these bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh! party, like, decorations off of Amazon. And one of them, you know how those are where it's, like, a bunch of, like, regular stuff and then some, like, really out-of-pocket shit? One of them was like straight up muscle fetish art of Dark Magician Girl. It's the one that's on my fridge. Oh, hell and yeah. I was like, you can't serve this to him. And um, and I and he's like such a cool guy. No, take me. It's a police outside. But it's a fire truck. Don't I know my story is fire. <laughs> but um I was like talking to him and he's such a nice guy. And I'm just like, I just feel kind of embarrassed because I met you before at a con. And um, he's like, why would you be embarrassed about that? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't be. No reason. Yeah. I shouldn't be. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. The man himself. Yeah. Jacob's in the drive. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> eh, eh. I can't single out cringe things that I've done because it's it's just all like that, dude. That's life, baby. It's bad. You got to accept it. Okay, it's it's like gonna happen to you. Fucking bored. I'm tired of drawing this. It's good though. Thank you. Yeah, it's really fun. I like it. I love the pose. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other cringe things I've done. I think There's you should have told him that he he should have been embarrassed because he didn't get the joke. <laughs> Power move. <laughs> I actually met you before at a con and you should be so embarrassed. <laughs> you fucked up big time. <laughs> I made a really good joke. <laughs> and you didn't get it. I get compliments on my grandpa photo all the time and you didn't get it, dad. I can't remember other cringe things I've done. My other cringe thing is freshman year of high school is when Death Note was really big and me and my friend did like L closet cosplay and then sat like him for as long as physically possible in one of our art classes, which was about two hours. Oh, baby. Uh, Got all sweaty thinking about <laughs> thinking about Darren Dunstan. You got to take a break now. Yeah, I think the most cringe thing I've done was, and I I've brought this up in the past, so I'll keep this. it short. <laughs> Just type. Just type, man. Just type, man. Oh, oh so God, hard I, to I see. Fuck this up. Ignore this. Ignore any of this. Okay. Tell your story. <laughs> Hurry. 
<laughs> was um, when we did the YouTube live with Odd Ones Out and Jaden and all that. I wouldn't know. I wasn't invited to that one. I wasn't even born yet. I wasn't even born yet. Well, we had talked about backstage, like they asked me to set up a joke. Okay, whatever. They asked me to set up a joke and it involved like saying the name of one of the channels and then that we would have like a banter there. But like they had told me that we were gonna do the joke and when I left, I think they had decided to not do the joke anymore. But I wasn't told. So when we got on stage, I was like, I went to go set up the joke. And then they were like, we don't know what you're talking about. We decided to end We decided <laughs> not to do that bit. But instead what they said was, you have us, you've like listed the wrong channels for us. And like, I didn't know how to recover from that. Cause I was like, no, we're doing the, we're doing the bit that yeah. we, we talked about backstage. And they were like, oh, we're not doing that. But they said that really quietly and like i said i thought we were doing the joke really quietly so then for years after that show people uh kept tweeting at me that i was disrespectful and couldn't even remember which person did which channel i like that people just remember things that we did years ago i don't think they should do that no <laughs> And, and I was like, no, so like, you're missing like all of the, the context that led up to that. And you're like trying to call me out for a thing that doesn't need to be called out about. Like you have none of the context. And but thanks. I'm going to feel bad about this forever. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> thanks for doing this to me. But that was probably the most cringe thing I've done only because it was so public. Yeah. And people wouldn't let me forget for the longest time. Honestly. It's usually stuff I say on Drawfee that's cr the most cringe because it's incredibly public. Yeah. That's all right. But also, like, they didn't care. The, yeah. The odd ones out and uh, the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who are the other channels? We'll never know. <laughs> it must not have been important. I'm fucking done. <laughs> all right, May. Please get in here. Something else, YT. So, oh yeah, there we go. Thank you. Those were the the two that. Yeah, uh, and I convinced I confused was... the two of them, or like as you know, doing the bit, and then afterwards I went to apologize to them, and they were like, "Oh, we even forgot that that happened on stage. So we even forgot that we, we were going to do that bit." And I was like, "Okay." Well, it's, it's usually that's the thing though, where like people online are like, "You were so rude to them." Yeah, but then like the apologize. people involved are like, I didn't even pay attention when it happened, and I'm definitely not paying attention now. Yeah, they were yeah. probably so hurt by it, and it's like, but in real it's life, me they every don't care. time I'm rude to Nathan. <laughs> 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 um, someone want to roll me? Oh yeah, okay. I have it up on my phone. Oh. If you just want to use mine, gimme, gimme, gimme. There's the roll button right there. Yeah. All right, me. Your first number. Mm -hmm. Three. Unnecessarily complex. <laughs> so, yeah. A normal day for me. Um, Your second one is one. Okay. Hard to depict with black and white, Let's but I'll do, do it. do a spot color. Yeah, I'll do a spot color. Um, <laughs> you, you only rolled, like, little guys four. Angel X Demon. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, who are your Angel X Demons? I can see your angle or your demon. Whoa. Walks up <laughs> to a you. couple. Which one of you is the angle and which one of you is the demon? Joy and Olive? Yes. <gasps> actually. No, that's problematic. Oh, because X is like shipping. Yeah. Oh, damn. You have to ship. Good omens. Here's the thing. I don't remember what the good omens people look like. I know I know technically what they look like. They look yes. like um You drew one in a soon to be out episode. I did. He's Adam like, and Adam. <laughs> Just do Joy and Olive, but don't X them. But it says X. Yeah, but we can do whatever we want. No. 
(laughs) 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 They're like... They're like soft shape and hard shape, right? Sonic and Shadow. Oh my god. Okay. Julia can't draw Sonic. I can't. Perfect. (laughs) I can't. Someone said a character I don't know and I thought it said Hamtaro. Who would be the devil to Hamtaro's angel? What's that scruffy one? The Nathan one? Yeah. That's just some random guy. (laughs) Hamtaro. There's not a villain. There's not a Hamtaro villain. Okay, then it can be a crossover ship. Probably that fucking gun cat. <gasps> Cyber Kurochan? Cyber Kurochan. <gasps> How come I couldn't have rolled that? <laughs> I had to draw a fake anime screenshot that I didn't even do. What am I drawing for Angel and, and Demon? Uh, Hamtaro and Cyber Kurochan. <laughs> Sonic and Shadow? Sonic. <laughs> Beep 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 beep. Scooby, Dooby, Scooby Dooby 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 I don't think that's hard to do. They hate each other. Yeah. Because they are each other. Are they each other? No. Okay. But kind of. Okay. No. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> like it metaphorically, you know, they're like two sides of the same coin. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> I, but not like literally. I don't know what Shadow's origin story is. He just fucking showed up one day with a gun and a car. <laughs> Yeah, and we all clapped. <laughs> Is Julia still in chat? I missed him because I was drawing. Did you guys see? They finally announced us for Anime NYC. Yeah. <laughs> in case you missed us talking about that, we are going to be there. Yeah. On all days. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a table and shit. At our table, adjacent to Artist Alley. We don't I think. <laughs> Rumored. Rumor, the rumor is. Rumor has it. Well, we'll definitely be somewhere in relation to Artist Alley. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be at the same con as yeah. the Artist Alley for that con. Yeah. And we definitely won't be in it. So. Yeah. Just look everywhere but the Artist Alley. <laughs> and you'll find us. <sighs> They announced Jonah too. Finally, yeah, All Jonah's right. gonna be there. We're gonna hang out finally. I'm gonna slap him. Yeah, <laughs> right in the face. Only if we can film it and make content out of it. Yeah, and that would be like a... beef. <laughs> Drawfi <Drophy laughs> as beef. Beef. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great TikTok actually. Slapping Jonah Scott. Slapping Jonah Scott. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll start a trend. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't deserve no. that. <laughs> I don't actually, I don't want to slap Jonah. I like Jonah. He's just a poor little meow meow. Jonah's nice and I enjoy him. I don't even want to slap people I don't like. Hmm? I don't even want to slap people I don't like, much less people I do like. Would you slap anyone ever? I could think of some people Jacob might slap. Jacob versus Jonah boxing match at Anime NYC. Do you think we can like request that as a panel? <laughs> creator think, clash I think Jonah's shorter than me considerably and so I think there would be a there would be a reach I would definitely have a reach advantage yeah. <laughs> maybe we'd be in different weight classes I don't even know how that works I don't know either there's just weight class if you're at a certain weight you gotta be you can't yeah. fight someone at a much heavier weight does height actually really factor into that yeah, because your if your arms are way longer, they can't get inside. Like if I were to try and they can't punch get you, inside. I can punch you from here, but if you try to punch me at the same time, oh. you, you can't hit my face while I can hit your face. <laughs> but what if? 
<laughs> you got Children. me. I would fight Karina though. No, we're not the same height. I would fight Karina in platforms. <laughs> you put on like platform shoes. I oh. thought you would say you were wearing. Platforms. I get, yeah, I I get like... even taller. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this Sonic doing like a get a load of this? <laughs> get a load of this guy. Can you believe get a this load shit? Of this. Jonah told me like, in D D last night you have plans. Yeah, to fight each other. <laughs> yeah. Me and Jonah are gonna fight each other. <laughs> Shadow's just fucking dead. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be Jonah after the fight. Just pointing, pointing at him. Who's this idiot? I killed him. <laughs> And I'll kill you too. You thought I said I would kiss Jonah on the face? Mm. I would kiss Jonah on the face before I would slap Jonah in the face. If I if I were ordering the things I would do. Yeah, tier list. Yeah, things I would do to Jonah <laughs> tier list. You would do. <laughs> Handshake S tier. Yeah, kiss A tier. Kiss A tier. Slap. slap. Super hell. <laughs> Super hell. <laughs> or pervert. Boop the nose, B tier. <laughs> I would watch that tier list. We should do a tier list again when we're tired. Yeah, we definitely will. They're fun to yeah. do. I want to get together like a bunch of like really strange ones and yeah, and yeah. not tell any of you what they are. Yeah. No more Pokemon ones. No, we've we've yeah, that I, well is dry. I can't I can't keep doing them and then having people tell me that I have the worst Pokemon opinions. You can't <laughs> say that. That's my fetish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't shame me. No, please. <laughs> Although I think the. The clip that that appears most in compilations for from me is me calling Ivysaur a pervert. Ma yeah, that's a dog. That's a dog. <laughs> Strikes me as a pervert. It strikes me as a pervert. <laughs> to be fair, the big one. Yeah, I stand by what I said. The the <laughs> by big I mean the third evolution. <laughs> Uh, Venusaur. Venusaur. There we go. Thank you. Somebody said a Genshin Honkai tier list not a single person knows about. The problem is if you only have those characters' heads, they're all the same character. Yeah. I can't tell anything about them unless I can see their whole body. Plus, I know a few Genshin characters from the unofficial figure sites I check in on sometimes. I should check in. I've definitely seen characters there. I like how Sonic's just wearing like boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are these iron toe work boots? <laughs> I'm so curious to see where you're going with this. No, Karina's seen my boy Ito. Ito is the only one I know by name. Ito's the demony one, and then there's like Chili, the red-haired one. Chili. Chill, childy, chill, chill, <laughs> and um, there's the black haired one that everyone was pissing their shorts over. <laughs> You're talking about Kirito, <laughs> Kirito Sword Art Online. <laughs> no, <laughs> all anime characters with black hair are <laughs> Kirito. What's his name, child? Child, childy, Ch childy. Yeah, Zong Zong Lee is the one that everyone was shitting and pissing over. Oh yeah, I've seen him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Genshin Impact. <laughs> childy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Child entertainment cheese. Child entertainment cheese. 
<laughs> yeah, any Genshin fans in the chat? Am I killing it or what? <laughs> <laughs> You're crushing. Um and then and then the the main little guy is Paimon. Yes. I think. Isn't that a demon name? Yeah, we just watched We did Hereditary literally yeah. the other night. You got y'all got demons in Genshin? <laughs> and then Paimon is uh in Hereditary. Yeah. That's crazy. Is that like a Christian demon? I don't know. I have or not looked into demon? it. Biblical demon. Um I will say for sure he is not a tiny little anime <laughs> girl who's like, Whoa, what's happening? Wow. <laughs> And then there's that one tiny little anime girl with the bombs. Red the one. Bombs. Those are that's the extent of my Genshin knowledge. I played it a little bit. But I didn't it didn't get its hooks in me. <laughs> Congrats. I wanted it to. I was excited to get hooked. Oh yeah, clee. Clee. Yeah. But yeah. Rate my Genshin knowledge uh, on a scale of 10, please. Go ahead. And I will take your feedback and improve on myself. I think there's no character <laughs> I hate drawing more than Sonic. Why? I, I like I, this Sonic. He's this got a fucking fucked up hot. energy. <laughs> yeah. I hate drawing Sonic. I hate it so much. Damn. And I'm, I'm only starting to realize how much I hate drawing Sonic. I just, he just doesn't, he doesn't make sense. And I hate how I draw him. I think this you is gave a... him Hank Hill's body. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> okay, <hold on. laughs> Put him in jeans and a t shirt and it's Hank Hill's body. <laughs> That's so much more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really good. <laughs> if I did one of like the challenges, you know, like Jacob did the. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Jacob did like the the one week of drawing backgrounds. Mine would have to be one week of drawing Sonic. <laughs> trust Sonic for one week. That's that's views. Yeah, right you there. know what's unfortunate? That would yeah. <laughs> that would get hella views. That's numbers. If we title it, we made Julia draw nothing but Sonic <laughs> for, for an entire week. week. <laughs> we made this background artist draw. It's just a room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in my phone. Yeah, please write that I, down. I genuinely want you to do that. Okay. Yeah. Don't make promises you can't keep. <clears throat> Don't worry. We'll do it after we do the animation speed draw. <laughs> All right. It's in the it's in the dock. <laughs> if we do do tier list, I do want to do the one where it's like I just said do so many times. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Fucking black pink over here. <laughs> um, the Yu-Gi-Oh characters just based on vibes. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down to do that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a dead Sonic Hank Hill. <laughs> he died. Yeah. Um. I know this may be alarming to some people, but that is what Sonic's feet look like when you take off his shoes. He has little shoes underneath. Small shoes. Where's right. Shadow? Shadow's Shadow. just Sonic. If you're gonna like hate drawing Shadow, just draw Vegeta. I just Googled Shadow. Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and, and they were like, no, we know what you're Googling. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna do... Just copy-paste Sonic. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, just 
How do I flip them? Um, um, actually, uh, hit that little pencil. I think that one should be horizontal flip. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is like that image of like all the girls like looking at you at the party <laughs> yeah can you quickly make him not smile yeah hold on yeah just no i meant i meant uh -huh. the one on the left <laughs> I can't call him Shadow because he's still <laughs> clearly Sonic. <laughs> there we go. It's happening. Yeah, you walk into the party and these two <laughs> greet you. <laughs> one always tells the truth and the other one only lies. <laughs> one tells the truth and the other eats chili dogs. <laughs> Remember, Shadow's hair goes up at the ends. I don't like what you just Googled. <laughs> but it's definitely an inspired choice. This isn't cringe, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> is this just art? I don't know if this is anything. Stretch Shadow vertically, please. Why? Is he taller? Is Shadow taller than is Sonic? Is Shadow taller than Sonic? I think they're not. The, okay. I mean, I think they're the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> big. I don't, know how, big. I don't know how to do it individually. It, it can only, <laughs> it, it always does it to scale. Yeah, there's like a, a thing you yeah, can I don't, switch. I don't have it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, give him a little lean. <laughs> Whoever said hold shift, that doesn't work in this. That is, of course, the first thing we would try. I did try it. <laughs> I tried control. I tried alt. What are their canonical heights? I'll tell you. Chat will tell me. I'll tell you. I don't trust chat to say it to say it true. No, chat will tell me. Sonic height. Three feet three inches. Alright, mods, ban anyone in chat who knew that answer before Jacob said it. According to this chart, Sonic is five feet tall. Good for him. And Dr. Robonic Robonic? Dr. Robotnik <laughs> is like 6'2". <laughs> Modern Sonic is 5 foot 1 inches. Why do you grow so much? Shadow wearing lipstick? Kind of hot. I'm seeing a Reddit post here that is, will someone tell me how tall modern green-eyed Sonic actually is? With a million exclamation points. What color were his eyes before? Wait, this isn't even the prompt, Julia. What? <laughs> Where's the unnecessary complex fit? It's their fucking design. No, it's not. <laughs> the complex fit is the king of the hill fit. No. It's complex emotionally. <laughs> I'm having like an art crisis. <laughs> Julia, you're doing great. Uh, I love you... that he's wearing... So basically <laughs> him and Bear in the Big Blue House are wearing the same outfit. What do you think... Skinny jeans? <laughs> what do you think this height chart means? <laughs> Hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he growing? Is he growing? <laughs> Why is she pointing at us? What does this mean? Can someone decipher the... this? Which do I press this? Yeah. What does this mean? <laughs> Why is she going, yeah! 
Are there four? Sonics, or is he growing to meet her height? I think that woman is just into macro. That's what she's trying to say? Yeah, because she's like, yeah, he's so big. He's so big now. Look at how big his hands are. <laughs> They're ding, so ding, warm. Ding, 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 you watch them. I'll watch my own tattoos, thank you. All right, I got the roller up here. Do you want your glove? Yeah. I can't draw without my glove. All right, I'm ready. Okay, Jacob. What Al said real quick said just left to make food and came back to Sonic Good Omens. Yeah, that's what that was. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Number 12. 12 is niche interest. Ooh. Okay. Two. Two is self insert. <laughs> 22. 22 made dress <laughs> sailor <laughs> uniform. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? I'm trying to think what's what's the I don't know what the niche interest is going to be. I know how to draw me in a maid dress. Mm hmm. But what's the, the niche interest going to so be? So you're wearing the maid dress? I assume so. Hmm. 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 Hold on. Let me Google <laughs> Math niche interest. Rock. Let me Google niche <laughs> Math rock. <laughs> the number of people saying math rock. I guess it is a niche interest, but how do I portray it? Fountain pens, medieval archery. These are not my interests. Those are not Jacob's niche interests. Data collecting, <laughs> learning Japanese. I don't think that's a niche interest. There's a whole that's country a that speaks that. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> popular, actually. Jacob Leomon. Not a niche interest, but I guess. Guitaru Man. Well, I don't want to do that because of reasons. Because mm. of no reason in particular. Sex pose art books. That's my niche interest. <laughs> You all What's need to the, like um, get your shit together. What the hell is that? Me in a made outfit? <laughs> oh my god, he is white. It's a white guy with brown hair. It's me. <laughs> and stubble. That's me. His outfit looks like shit on him though. Yeah, he is not working it. No, not at all. What about this guy? Now it's in your Amazon history. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, no. All right, well, I'm going to start drawing me in a maid outfit. Yeah. We can start there. Please, Horror movies. Please show the class. Here. Imagine, in your mind's eye, just any white man. Oh, I can't show this Google <laughs> image page anyone. Oh. People keep coming up who are, like, fully nude. <laughs> Which is not... This is not a maid outfit. <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing. A maid wouldn't wear that. It would be strange if she did. That would be hard to work in, really. Yeah. The chafing. Let's just put <laughs> this here. Just up there. <laughs> scroll, scroll away. <laughs> scroll away from that. All right. I have. I I googled niche interests. Julia, <laughs> that doesn't accomplish anything. Well, I like it because the second one listed as all terrain vehicles. <laughs> Just draw an all-terrain vehicle. Come on. I think I'll go with like a, so you said like horror movies. I know it's not that niche, but I'll go with like a horror yeah. vibe. Someone said we can't help that he's normie and someone replied Nathan's the normie. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob's flamboyant. I'm flamboyant. And yeah. Karina likes anime. Yeah. 
Julia's also flamboyant. I'm also flamboyant. And you're wearing plaid today. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> was that the same comment? Which no. One? Okay. Yeah. I just think about it a lot. I was thinking about the uh, yeah the other person who pointed out that I was wearing flannel. Yeah. And they inferred a lot of things from me wearing flannel. As if I just don't like flannel. I need, I need flannel. A, flannel. Flannel. I need a new. Oh, coat. people are seeing Italian cold steel. Oh, there you go. It could be you in a maid outfit holding That's what an I was Italian do. cold steel. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We're all on the same page. Wow. Is it Lagoshi truck and all terrain vehicle? Oh, did you guys notice we had a new emote? Did you even look at the emotes? Yeah, we have a new emote, if you even care. If you even care to look <laughs> at it. Oh, and by the way, it's a follower emote. Yeah. So even non-subscribers can use it. Not that you care. If it means anything if to it you. it means anything to you. Single flower pot? It's like a little vase. For a single flower? I guess. My cousin made that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I like how it feels. It's so soft. A lot, yeah, a lot of the cork things I have were uh, handmade by my cousin. That's nice. Yeah. Wood. Looks like wood. Yeah. They're all super nice. Real good quality shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what we like to see. <laughs> Chad is nothing but... Lagochi. Lagochi. But yeah, I need a new go to flannel. I keep ripping mines open. <laughs> this one I think is from Uniqlo. I just nice. got a new one from Levi's. Ooh. It's because I got True. one literally a decade ago mm. at a at like L train <laughs> vintage. And it's it's my favorite one. It's the maroon one I always wear. But I keep like ripping open where the sleeves uh, are and then sewing it back shut. Yeah. Because it's still my favorite, but it's like very slowly starting to fall apart. <laughs> I got these jeans at, jeans at the Levi's. Ooh. I like these jeans. I asked the lady if she could measure me and she said, I think you're this size. And Without she, measuring she was me. Just straight up right. And she was just nice. absolutely correct. She eyeballed that shit. Yeah. That's when Jacob and I got trapped in a mall. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Jacob and I got trapped in a mall. Sort of. Kind of. I just wanted coffee. What did, how did you get trapped? So we went, so I wanted coffee and we found a place on Google Maps. We went to it. Turns out it was like in a mall. Mm. And in order to park at the mall, you have to enter the garage. But then once you enter the garage, you have to pay. So Jacob and I were like, all right, well, we might as well make it worth our time and go inside. Okay. Less trapped and more tricked into going to. Well, then we got to coffee and the place next door was Annie Ann's mm. and it had the longest line I've ever seen for anything at a mall. The teens were like obsessed with, with Auntie Ann's. Yeah. These days. Apparently. So... Yeah. Was this recent? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It like just happened. It was like oh. a week ago. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so now Jacob and I are like committed and we, we order coffee and it's like, it'll be ready at some point. So we're like, okay. So we decided to go kill time by walking around the mall. We went to this little cute store of anime things. And then we went to Levi's where the lady just like, no scoped my size and oh, i felt wow. like i had to buy jeans so i did she got it in one because she got it in one and and she was correct As, yeah yeah she got it she got it right away i was like these are I've never had pants fit me better so we left with the jeans the coffee was god awful and we escaped <laughs> them all <laughs> We had to go, like push so, through a crowd of teens. That's so strange. Yeah, it was really weird. It was like a bunch of 13-year-olds. There is just like something about being kind of like, you know, like, well, we're in a mall now. Yeah. I kind of miss. It was also like on the other side of the mall, and it was like such an adventure that we were like, well, we have to see where this leads us. 
I so. can't remember the last time I was in a mall. It was probably at that same fucking con mm -hmm. where I broke that picture frame for no reason in particular. Uh-huh. Because um, we were staying at the like hotel right by the convention, and one of the closest things to it was like a fashion outlet with a food court. Mm -hmm. So like instead of having to eat at the like anime McDonald's that everyone in the con was going to, we just went to the food court. Yeah. And it was a much better time, but it was nice. Why does the, the image that Jacob's looking at, I'm looking at it from a distance and it looks like the music video for Gimme Chocolate. Yeah, it looked, it looked like a horror aesthetic. And it looks it says, like, you remember, what was that one thing? The stories tell in the dark. Oh, scary stories to tell scary in the dark. Scary stories to tell in the dark with the strange woman. I love that lady. In the hallway. <laughs> yeah, That's that the is hallway. what it looks like. Yeah. It does look like the <laughs> That's hallway. That's the same hallway. No, this is non-binary <laughs> French maid costume L. Oh. <laughs> so, don't you feel stupid now? The way you pronounce McDonald's gets me. Do I say, is that another thing I say weird? I thought it was normal. McDonald's. Why? Because it's That's McDonald's. Like Mick. Mick. Mac I McDonald's. McDonald's. I say McDonald's. Mick. Mick. McDonald's. Mick. Mac. Muck. McDonald's. <laughs> or what else? McDoll. It's a McDoll. Yeah. Which one? Which one do you like the best? Tell me so I can change myself for you, Chad. <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> I was thinking about um how things are called like products here are called are pronounced differently in other countries and mm -hmm. I was thinking specifically this morning of France calling coke a coca like when you want a coke you say coca coca ah. coca McDonald's. <laughs> Mac Michael Donald. McDonald's. 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 Ronald's place. <laughs> French people are crazy. Don't make me come after you. <laughs> I think in France, McDonald's is also called McDo or something or Mac McDo. Mac I'm trying to think of how my cousins say it. That's I don't usually go to in, McDonald's in France, that's but what they call it in the Philippines because they have to compete with Jollibee, so they have their oh. own version of the Jollibee meal with like the fried chicken. Okay, it's called the McDo. Yeah, McDo's. McDo's. What that Mac? <laughs> what that McDo? Yeah, my family doesn't really eat McDonald's, <laughs> but I've I've heard them refer to it as a McDo. Isn't it in Japan they? call it donald mcdonald's because ron the way it, like it's like said like donardo <laughs> mcdonardo because they thought that saying ronardo is like too uh, hard well why are they calling it by his full government name <laughs> so it's like called like donald mcdonald's or something uh, oh that person has the right idea the grimace hole Y'all want to eat at the Grimace Hole? Y'all want to go to Grimace's Hole? Yeah, y'all want to eat at Grimace's Hole? Grimace's Play Place? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it sounds so much worse. <laughs> y'all want to jump in Grimace's Balls Pit? <laughs> Grimace's Balls Pit. <laughs> Probably a good reason they don't call it a balls pit. <laughs> well, there's a lot of balls in there. So true. There's balls, not just balls, one ball balls in the pit. <laughs> balls, balls, balls in the pit. We should get a ball pit for Anime NYC. Yes. Yeah. We won't sell merch, but instead behind our table will just be a ball pit. Yeah. And that's where we'll pee. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's where I'll hide my razor blades. <laughs> like the candy. candy. Like the hot Halloween candy. 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 This year for real, they're really putting razor blades in it this year. I'm not joking. My favorite is the one that says that people are putting drugs in the candy as if those kids are going to like like zombies 
sniff out who the drug dealers are and go to that house once they're addicted to drugs yeah and buy drugs from that like, person that's how they lure you in <laughs> i i do like that general theory and the rebuttal of drugs are expensive <laughs> yeah <laughs> why, why would i give it to some fucking kids for free yeah like that <laughs> no it's put it in all your candy yeah First of all, you gotta pay for the candy then you gotta pay for the drugs then you gotta put the drugs in the candy. Yeah, and as soon as like, you like are sealing and resealing, exactly, you need tools to do that. That's an expensive operation. Yeah, what's the what's the payoff? Not wasting that on some kids. <laughs> they can't even pay for it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not until they're teens, and then they have disposable income somehow. <laughs> People are saying the slaps. Yeah, this is really good. I'm having a lot of fun with it, actually. I didn't realize one of your prompts was yandere. <laughs> it does. It is yandere, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of these overlap. Yeah. In various ways. I can't believe I'm going to have one drawing today, and it's an absolute <laughs> detritus I drew. <laughs> I would offer you my thing, but I didn't like my drawing, so it's... It, no, you can't. <laughs> I need. I need to do something. <laughs> I need to activate. <laughs> I have not drawn. I have not like doodled in weeks. It feels like all I do is suffer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm finally back in like a normal work week for the first time in maybe a month. Woo! Let's go. I'm hitting the draw detectives hard this week. Oh shit! Right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. go in the room and Julie's just beating the shit out of York and Grindon and Rose. She's hitting them hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's what yeah. they deserve, honestly. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. It's not like they have any we brain cells to lose. Totally made no progress on redacted, have we? No. Yeah. No. Oh, well. You get it when you get I'm it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to to tell me when to be unleashed. <laughs> when, when you have time to be unleashed. Soon. Okay. Soon. I'm like, how many background assets have I done? Oh, I've baby. done a lot. I've done a lot of assets so far. <laughs> and like, they're the big ones too. Ooh, some of y'all sound hype in chat. You should be. What, do you like draw detectives yeah. or something? How embarrassing. You don't even have an idea of what season three is like. <laughs> you don't know what it's like out here. You don't okay? know what it's like out here. You don't know how hard it fucks. <laughs> you look so dumb right now <laughs> being excited. Be more excited, yeah, but actually, not- You're not excited enough. Yeah, but not too excited. <laughs> cause, don't, don't be weird about it. Yeah, cause you know. Be just the right- A lot one. of, it's been such a crazy year for us. So. These things take time. I have 50 assets done. Out of maybe 150. <laughs> but nice. a few of those are like big, like the biggest ones I'm going to make for the show. All of the really big ones are done. I'm so excited to see more. Oh, yeah, because we recorded the first way. two episodes. Yeah. Not that it's coming out anytime soon, but. Yeah. But it will. In due time. There's just so much other stuff going on. Like a uh, wedding. It's truly been thing after thing <laughs> Another this year, wedding. Especially for everyone except me. <laughs> um, uh, my priority is just um, hold down the fort and yeah. make sure Julia doesn't turn into the Joker. <laughs> it might be happening. Yeah. Uh, I'm done. It's good. This is me in a nurse outfit being a horror nurse -maid. monster. <laughs> nurse maid. Nurse maid. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you. All right, Karina's got 20 minutes. Karina, redemption arc. Redemption arc, please. Even though your drawing was really good. Yeah. Thank you. I it agree. just felt very messy. But I'm glad people feel that way. Karina's looking for the pen. Okay. <laughs> Have you checked right in front of your face? Guess oh, not. It wasn't on the crab, so she doesn't know where yeah. it is. Oh, right. I have to roll you some numbers. <laughs> you didn't return it to its crab spot. All right, Karina. Yee. Your first number is 21. 100% saturation. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Your second number is 24. MLP. All right. Your third and final number is 19. Doll puppets, etc. Do you want me to re-roll? <laughs> um, re-roll just to see if there's greener fields. Six. Neko. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Okay. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> I want to go get some water. MLP and Neko? You don't We've say. got it all. Oh, my Sorry. God. This is going to be my MLP. Cringe. Oh my god, what if it's like MLP Sona? What if um, you're like, yeah, I know MLP, but then instead you draw MLB. <laughs> well, that would be a lie. You're drawing like Derek Jeter over here. I don't even know who that is. And you're like, why is everyone mad at me? <laughs> why are you booing me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing Catboy Derek Jeter like you wanted. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a pony Sona, but it's it's my cat. It's it's a pony Sona of my cat Sona. Whoa, cat Sona, pony Sona. Yeah, what would my cutie mark be? It would be a butt. A butt? I feel like I don't. I'm not. You're not the butt person. Okay, it would be Lagoshi truck. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob and I got very, really excited because the latest season of Taskmaster happened and someone brought yeah. in a table that's a uh, wood carving of four butts together and I said, it's the Drawfee Voltron. <laughs> yeah, it was all butts. Okay, I'm going to do an underdrawing for this one. It's very important. Okay. I, don't, I don't like this stupid arm. People are saying a knife. I feel like that would be me. Yeah. People like to, like, I like to pretend that I could be a knife person, but I'm really not. I'm more of a baseball bat <laughs> kind of person, you know? Um, I love a baseball bat. I do have my very own specialized, like, baseball bat. It has my name on it and my pen name, and it's pink. If I were, like, under attack in my home by a home invader... Mm -hmm. I would rather have a baseball bat than a knife. Well, yeah, because then you got to get in close if you have a knife. Yeah. Well, it's mostly just I think baseball bats are cooler. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking about the aesthetics of me defending my home from a home invader. Okay. And I think me with a baseball bat is like is a cooler visual. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just want to be like a little slugger. We need more room. The aesthetics, yeah. Then you can do the one like over the shoulder pose, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love this face. Yeah, it's very cute. I mean, it's not your face, it's a drawing. Shut up. <laughs> I was really thinking about how to beat a person logically. Well, it's part yeah, of my childhood. You would, you would need more room to get like a more powerful swing with a bat, but they're also heavier. Has no one else had to do home invasion drills at least once a week when they were a kid? Just me. It's just me. It's just you. I'm sorry. It's just me. It's all right. I just learned the hard way. <laughs> okay. Should we should just have like fake cat ears, like a little headband. Cat ears over your pony yeah. ears. Yeah. Ponies don't have ears, I guess. What? <laughs> I mean, they do, but okay, we're gonna... not in the same way. We're gonna be... It has to also be 100% saturation. You can do it. What is any of this there? Let's do that one. Mm. <laughs> yes. People are calling me out for saying that ponies <laughs> don't have ears in the same way that cats do. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I said what I said. 
It's not the same way. There we go. Julia said, um, oh, Julia said, chat said, <laughs> Julia is that person She's from Kick Ass. I am. <laughs> Um, he got too into thinking about baseball bats. No, I'm the I'm the lady from your next. That's me. From my next? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Karina's next. Your next of the woods. Your next. Gotta is get the, this eyebrow way up there. It's the best home invasion movie. It is. Freaking rules. It is it's a very fun home invasion movie. It's a good one. Julia, have you seen Hush? What do you think about it? I saw the first half an hour and I had a panic attack. So I had oh to stop. <laughs> it was too real. Uh, it just it, it was like freaking me out. I didn't have a panic attack, but it was freaking me out so bad that I turned it off. Yeah. When the horror hits. When the horror very potent hits a very specific <laughs> the figure you had as a child a potent brew potent brew what about it follows i love it follows very fun the tall man very good i was really surprised by it follows i love a i love a creepy horror like a slow creeping horror yeah it's great yeah Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Love the soundtrack. Yeah, it is really good. I love the theme for It Follows. Karina, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> you were like waiting to draw this it if feels. it seems like I'm proficient in the MLP style no I'm not <laughs> what are you talking about you're being so silly I know chat haha -ha, you're so silly sometimes haha -ha. Someone was saying that It Follows was filmed in their area and they didn't know that going in and it really scared them. Yeah. It reminds me of, um, I was watching that movie with, with Miles Teller and Sharp, 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 name 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 What's her name? What did Miles Teller? Shor Sharonin? No, no, no. It's the Spectacular Now, I think the movie was called. What's that actress's name? Okay, hold on. The Shailene Woodley. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was so close. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this movie is. Uh, it's one of those, like, you know, teen coming of age sort of things. Sure, yeah. And the movie, like, is, like, canonically set, you know, in some state somewhere. Uh huh. But then, like, at the end of the movie, one of the last scenes is, like, you know, Miles Teller's, like, go into the place... He's like rushing to the place to be like, I got to go find her to mm -hmm. tell her I love her or whatever. And then he rolls up at the damn student learning center from UGA. <laughs> it's literally the building on my college campus. And I'm like, you're not in Ohio or whatever you told me. Yeah. This is Georgia. I know you that building. Me. It's like when I was watching that episode of Law and Order and I glanced over and I was like, huh, that street looks familiar. That street looks very familiar. That street looks very familiar. So I paused it in another tab. I opened up Google Maps and went to the street that I thought it was. What color should I be, Chad? What color should Karina be? Um, and uh, it was two blocks away from where Jacob lived at the time. <laughs> yeah, I just found the street like so easy. Chartreuse. I do love chartreuse. Chartreuse is yellow. Chartreuse is red. Chartreuse is... Is this a bit? I don't know what color chartreuse is. It's a very... It's like a yellow green. Okay. Light yellow green. It's like... 
I, I think it's like this. That's a very bright version, but I think that's what we're going for. There we go. It's like the liqueur. Perfect. It's like a mm, tennis ball. Yeah, it is. But a it's little greener. Yellow. Yeah. It's pretty yellowy. It's like Kermit color. <clears throat> no, Kermit's greener. <laughs> people are saying this hurts to look at that's you that's you're about? doing it right if it hurts to look at that's yeah. what my prompt was yeah maximum yeah. saturation yeah. yeah you want me to make it hurt more i can <laughs> i wasn't trying to but i can is that what you want <laughs> she'll do it <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time <laughs> yeesh kawaii succubus made a twitch just to watch us Whoa. Wow. So they've seen all the episodes and VODs and wanted to get the live experience. Was it worth it? Let me work it. Put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Jacob. Thank you. And thank you for making a Twitch account to watch yeah. our stream. I hope stream. you don't regret it. I hope you don't regret it. Why is heterochromia a cringe tober prompt? Because my OC has heterochromia. It's a cringe tober prompt because years ago, in the in at least our middle school era, I don't know if it's still the thing today, mm -hmm. but it was like every OC had heterochromia. Every there OC was no had OC that didn't have heterochromia. It kind of stems from that like uh, Mary Sue school mm. of like don't do this. It's so cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. really, it's like do do what you want yeah do yeah. whatever the, all, none of this is really cringe it's all no. just fun yeah you do whatever it makes you happy yeah and you find fun and cool yeah i saw a post uh, there's so many like bad takes on there's so many bad art takes on youtube i think like but generally i'm also a person that's like just let people do whatever they want to do yeah, as long as it's on. not hurting someone come on but someone was like it's so um oh magic silver hair boy is so cringe because uh -huh. like everyone's like here's your human alien and i was like just why we gotta like shame every little every little fun that everyone's having yeah, yeah. let people have fun people can nice the cringe is trying to shame someone for having fun yeah, yeah. I love cringe. That's why I keep redrawing all my old childhood art. It's great. It's more cringe to be so concerned about what other people like. Yeah. I find that it's cringe to change how yeah, you what do should I be saying? Do something because of outside pressures. Of someone whose opinion that you won't you won't remember that person in like five years. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Beautiful. Julia, do you want to do a really fast <laughs> yep, one? <laughs> sure do. Get me in. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> Why is this what you're saying? With this face on your face? What are you talking about? You make this face and you say this thing. This is a good drawing. What, you got a problem with drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Someone roll me a random number. Uh, a one and 31. Oh, yeah. I only I, have six minutes. I got you. All right. Should I just do one of the prompts? I got you. Okay. Random. <laughs> Random. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of cognitive behavioral therapy. Have we done 23? Memes. Oh, boy. We're already doing that. Yeah, you're drawing a meme right now. Okay, next. Next. Uh, 21, we just did that. Number three. You, you did that, but you ignored it. <laughs> uh, 30. What's 30? 
I'll draw Sans Undertale. Sans Undertale is also a meme, so that's good. Perfect. What about 19? Have we done 19? That's, uh, the, that's the one I one. skipped. What about yeah. 28? Alt fashion, you did Wait, that I'll one. do the puppets one. I'll make yeah. Sans Undertale a, a puppet. There's nothing already. wrong with the puppets one. I just thought it'd be funnier to do some... I, I don't remember what I was doing, honestly. <laughs> okay. Sans. Thank you, Internet, for knowing that I wanted to look at Sans Undertale. What else well, would yeah, you be Googling? Would be? <laughs> the only Sans. What the fuck is Hanahaki? Or, what, is that what it is? Han, Hananaki disease. I always, I can't read. I don't know what problem. that is either. It's a really like popular fanfic trope lately. So what it essentially is, is that if you are experiencing, I, I don't like this trope. So if I get anything wrong, it's because I never read it. I've if got you're it right experiencing here, you unrequited love, flowers start to grow in your chest and so you start coughing up flowers yeah. and the only way to cure it is to like get the love returned or like surgery i don't fucking know <laughs> yeah that's basically what this says Aha! You, you got it right according to fanlore.org yeah another way to cure it is to die <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, it eventually, it eventually really. kills you, I think. Yeah. So it's like really popular because it's like an angst, like, like, you know, magic realism angst trope. Yeah, is it, is it Hanahaki? Hanahaki, yeah. Okay, it's um, the one message in chat I read misspelled it, so I couldn't remember. Like, it's cringe, but I get it. It's a much more recent, like, phenomena as far as i'm concerned at least like english side so but hey i like this sans yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's any more cringe than like a coffee shop au but maybe i'm just very normal <laughs> <laughs> What were the ones I got? Um, memes, video game, doll puppet. Doll puppet, okay. There you go. The fastest sans puppet ever drawn. I've been seeing it for like 10 years. Look, I have no concept of time. I, I just mean I didn't grow up with it. I was 20 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a little sad. That's just his face. That's true. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> wow, way to make me feel young, Karina. You're all but babies to me. Fresh out of the womb, still need <coughs> to be washed. Bless you. <sighs> You're right. Sorry. You good? I have Hana hockey disease. <laughs> well, that's Wait. concerning. <laughs> Wait. Julia won't requite my love. <laughs> Wait. Just just survive until the wedding. <laughs> yeah, our wedding's in like two weeks. Yeah, I think that'll fix it. <laughs> we have to get married in order to fix it. But will I make it long enough? Sans Undertale, like a, a flip flops in the rain sort of guy in the winter. I always was under that impression. Yeah, like basketball shorts and, yeah. and slides These things <laughs> in will, January. We'll all be lost like flip-flops in the rain. <laughs> we are the next generation of Karina Fricks. Yeah, I like to think of it that way. <laughs> Sans feet? No, he has feet. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the good joke emote is the best one we've ever made. I like how that one is not like a follower emote, but Lagochi is. Yeah. We're is there gonna... any reason? Was that just randomly decided? To make it a follower emote? Yeah. I don't think we they were like a thing when we made the other emotes. Oh. I didn't see them until I went on this time. We should. We make have more five emotes. slots we for should, follower emotes. We should make more emotes. I did see that Good Joke is. Uh, recently, I logged into our Twitch or something, and Good Joke is our most used of like the year, or something. It is the most like like we got an award universal. for how much people used it. Uh, like an also award. on other. <laughs> award. I don't know. It was like <laughs> Mr. Twitch gave us an award. Jonathan Twitch. <laughs> Imagine your last name being Twitch. I can't. <laughs> I think it was, Julia, that it was like the one that was most used outside of our own community. It's yeah. definitely like versatile. Yeah, it can it can go anywhere. Yeah, the rest of our <laughs> the rest of our emotes though. You're telling me Enzo Face can't go anywhere? Enzo Face is endless in its usability. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> I'm going to make Enzo face a follower emote and not good joke. <laughs> we should just make more emotes is the problem. That's impossible. We have so many slots, right? Yeah, we have a lot of slots. And we give them nothing. <laughs> we give them nothing. <laughs> yeah, let us know what emotes you would like so we can not make them and, and just, instead make more Lagoshi themed emotes. Just make whatever <laughs> random shit we decide <laughs> into an emote. <laughs> I don't even know where Enzo Face came from, and I watch almost everything you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know with Lagochi, we joked about it, and then after the stream, I like was really anxious because I had a flight really early the next morning, and so I stayed up till one coloring it, yeah, <laughs> and then just sent it in. <laughs> in general, in our general yeah, chat, in in our group, because I was trying to find it earlier today. Oh. I was like, "Where the hell did she put it?" <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. But just I found utilize it. the search. No one fucking uses search. Well, that's on how I found it. Discord, yeah. But I didn't know what you had typed. Well, because so I, I I messed up the ear, so I, I was. I already said something, but without the fucked up ear. <laughs> yeah. So you just search ear. <laughs> I found it from searching emote, believe it or not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is this is cute, Julia. I, I like that he sands. has an entire marionette of Sans, and he's still just making him do the normal pose he always does. He can't remove his hands. Bip 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 bip. This is it. We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. Thanks, everybody, for watching and hanging out with us. Hope you cringed. Hope you cringed. Yep. Um, I, I've got more Tobers to do. Hell yeah. Ooh. So maybe next week An we'll October do a, of Tobers. a different Tober. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, maybe it will be a Tober of Tobers. You want you want Karina MLP CBT pony? That would be That's too... not going to make a good email. Yeah. <laughs> it's the problem. It's going to be too small. We're going to it's going to take up a lot of slots. It'll be one that's the face and one that's just the word bubble saying CBT. <laughs> <laughs> a cold steel chinquadea. Mm. That's a pretty good idea. That is a good one. Yeah, I like that. We'll think about these over the next 3 years. Someone said Thank Onsta. You. Just subscribe to Onsta <laughs> yeah, and use Onsta has... her Emotes. her own emotes and they're all really yeah, good yeah they're really they're actually good yeah unlike ours unlike ours which are garbage <laughs> so thanks for subbing <laughs> that's it for us that's um, it jacob and i are on secret sleepover society on wednesday nights uh patreon bonus stream if you are a patron uh that bonus stream is next friday the 13th the 13th and mm. then Two weeks after that, on the 27th, Karina is doing a draw class. Yeah. yeah. Figure drawing. Let's, let's, let's practice together. Yeah. So yeah. sign up for that draw class draw here. Some bodies. Bodies. Our bodies. Our technique. Technique. Very important skills. Bodies. Yeah. Bodies. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Episode tomorrow. Episode tomorrow and Thursday, as always. Yeah. If you're going to Anime NYC, we're going to Anime NYC. We'll see you there. Come see us, you little shit. Find yeah. out what happens. Maybe yeah. we'll have something special. Maybe we'll have I something special. I don't fucking fun. know. Don't know. Bye. Bye.